Ohio's best win of the regular season came in the final game of the regular season, and the Bobcats came into a place where not a lot of teams knock off Northern Illinois. Welcome to Husky Stadium in Brigham Field. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Final score, paint it green and white. Ohio wins it 26 to 21 over Northern Illinois to improve to eight and four on the season. It's a three and three road season for Ohio. It's a over 500 conference season for Ohio. And the Bobcats did something that not a lot of teams do. That's win in DeKalb. No, then they did. And you're coming here first time in nearly a decade. Get the win. It's a critical win in that 06 season. Critical one of this one to end this one the right way, send you to the bowl the right way, and frankly knock Northern possibly out of that Western Division title. Yeah, Ohio lost in heartbreaking fashion the championship game. The back in 2011. They fought hard and lost last year in Athens. The Bobcats have now won back to back trips to DeKalb 06 and now this year, and they did it without scoring a touchdown in the second half. Yeah, really pieced it together. A lot of field goals down the stretch. Ohio jumped out to the lead in, in this game under J.D. Sprague. And when J.D. Sprague gets hurt, you plug in Greg Windham, mm -hmm. and the offense keeps moving. Ohio pieced this one together. Yeah, 20-7 to seven was the halftime advantage. The Bobcats had just a couple of yards shy of 400 total yards on the night, held Northern Illinois to sub-100 yards rushing. You could say it was uh, Sprague going out and Windham coming in. You could say it was A.J. Olette on the ground. You could say it was everybody on the defensive side. It really was a team effort. Yeah, defensive side played great, front played great, stopped the run with regularity. And for Northern, knocked out one of their quarterbacks. Northern had to bring on a true freshman, never played it down, and Ohio finished up with him. 35 of the last 36 home games went to the way of the Cardinal in black. Make that 35 of the last 37 because Ohio won here tonight. Here's how it looked and sounded. Graham, he's had a good second half. Second down at about seven at the Ohio 42. Graham's bottled up, thrown down at the end at the midfield stripe by Ohio. Two to the right, wide receiver left. Play fake Sprague, rolls right with blockers in front. Throws, finds a little crease and a first down for Ohio. Sixth best total defense in this league. Hand off AJ, big hole opens up over the middle. Got a first down. Ball on the southern half of the shadowy state of Illinois logo at midfield. Hole Opens up, runs into it, does Sprague, pulls his head down and goes across the 35. It is fourth down for Ohio. Fourth down at about three at the Northern 28. They had two plays to get this, and it's set up pretty well on a short fourth down. Olette on the right side, back to pass Sprague. Big rush out, Ohio picks it up. Fade to the far corner, reads out there, and he caught the ball. Six for the Cats, touchdown Ohio. How about a way to convert on fourth down, baby? And the first shot thrown, six nothing Cats in a place where this doesn't happen all that often. Ohio on top early. Graham's out of the shotgun, takes a snap. Play fake, he will keep, he will get thrown down. Back of the 40 yard line. Rivers left, shotgun, it's Graham. Second down and goal at the north side. Five, handoff into the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Jordan Huff right up the middle. 10 to go for quarter two. Tied at seven, Ohio and Northern Illinois. Punt time for Bonstetter. Chad Beebe is back at his own 30-yard line. Don's son retreats, bobble the ball. Ohio's on it. Inside the 25, down at the 23. North side of the field, Chad Beebe just dropped the ball. Crouches, takes a snap, option to the right side. He will get to the edge, duck it back inside. Stiff arm, got a first down, goes out of bounds. Leapfrogs, some advertisements on the far sideline. There is wind behind him here, gusting to 20. Snap back, placement down, kick through, and good. They got 2,000 yards. 10.38 to go for the first Whoa. half, and Graham is spun down and thrown back in the backfield. As Greg Windham is in, play fake, rolling left, still on the run left, throwing it left, and it is caught. It is near a first down for Jordan Reed. 36. Windham takes a snap, handoff on the left, through a big hole along the left hash, got a first down, and three Huskies bring him down at the 22. AJ in the backfield with a shotgun. Greg Windham takes a snap, play action, rolls right, throws right, caught, touchdown, Cats. Trip to the house, wide open. Wide out to the right inside the numbers. They send a motion man to the right. It's Argeros Turner. Slips one tackle. Ohio's there, and they pull him down after a very minimal gain of maybe just a half yard. He's had a monster year, over 1,000 yards. Pocket breaks. Graham runs left, still running left. Throws, knocked away. What a nice play. Knocked out with the left hand by Devin Jones. This to put Ohio on top, 20-7. to seven. Snap back high, pull down. Kick is away, and he... Got it. What a big kick for Josiah Yazdani. 
Out of the shotgun, it is Hare. Behind him is Bonio. gets the ball running right. Hit at the max shield and driven down by Chad Moore. They send Turner in motion left. Bonio behind Graham. Low snap, handoff Bonio running left. Ohio's there, knocks him down at the 35. Chad Moore the first one there. Gain of about seven actually, second down and three, right hash at the 21, play fake, Graham throws it over the middle, crossing route, it's caught, it's a first down, 45, midfield, right hash, 45, inside Ohio territory, still on his feet, 25-20, chase from behind and down at the 15. Two receivers left, wide out to the right, and it's a play fake, Graham throws it high to the right side, caught, 10-5, right hash spinning into the end zone, touchdown, Northern Illinois. Graham's out of the shotgun, 3-1 to the pattern. Big rush on, Graham is going down, lost the ball. Northern's on it, back inside the 40, down at the 38. But a pack of cats got to Graham. He lost the ball, Northern recovered. But it is fourth down, and from here to Beloit, Wisconsin, with 2.11 to go for quarter three, and the Bobcats up six, 20 to 14. Four wide in the pattern, all inside the numbers, ball between the hashes. Back to pass Wyndham, pocket holds. Now he lost one, middle of the field, it's caught. Brendan Cope got it at the 20, inside the 15. The senior from Albany with a huge kick. Placement down, right wing, uh, wing leg swings and he kicks it through and he got it. First and 10 for Northern at the 10. And it's a handoff, it is Bonio running right and Ohio is right there and they drive him down. To put Ohio on top by 12, the right leg swings and the ball is blocked at the line, picked up by Ohio. They run forward in a pack, and it's a first down for Ohio on a block. They got the ball to the 11. It was blocked, and Ohio came up with the ball, and they ran to the 11 in Northern Territory. Somehow Kent Berger ends up with that thing and gets it down inside the 15-yard line. Not so sure who got the block or who, who lost the ball, but for some reason, Berger ends up downfield. Hand off Olette, runs left side, into a pack, got to the nine, that is all. Near the right hash for the right-footed kicker. The senior from Albany, snap back placement down, right leg swings, and he popped it up, and he got it. Fourth down and six at the Ohio 11, and here come the Cats. Back to pass Fiedler, fade to the left corner of the end zone, of the ball is caught. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Near sideline bunched. The onside is gonna be dropped. And the ball is recovered by Ohio at the 45. It was a drop kick on a hop, and then Ohio was right there to pick it up, and the Bobcats are going to win in DeKalb. So now there's a whole lot of Bobcat buzz going into the bowl season. Eight wins, goodness. That three-game losing streak, that's a long ways away from where we are right now. Yeah, Ohio really rallied, got off the mat against Kent, against Ball State, and came out and beat one of the top teams in this league. Got to be proud of this one, got to be proud of this team, the way they've come back together, yeah. and now you'll play 13. Yeah. You can definitely say that there's more buzz going into the bowl season now than there's been over the last couple. Perhaps the 2011 season was the last time you felt this good about going into bowl season. We don't know until after the MAC championship game. There are a lot of possibilities. Obviously, there are some favorites, but any bowl would be a great bowl, and Ohio would love to be there. We'd love to see you there, too. We'll find out after the MAC championship game. Yeah, I mean, odds are you probably are one of the six bowls that are tied to the MAC right now, but there could be other loose bowls, really any of the other ESPN bowls owned by ESPN around the country, get shipped to Dallas, get shipped yeah. to Shreveport again, any of a number of spots. Yeah, I say, you know, there are some favorites. Everybody has their own personal favorite. It could be any bowl, and we're excited about that. On a personal note, I could tell you, I've been coming here for years, been in this stadium my entire life. It is very, very rare during Northern's dominant years that a team comes in and can controls the Huskies like NIU did. And as the voice of the Bobcats and as a broadcast team, got to be incredibly proud of what we saw tonight. No, you, you really are. And for Ohio, the key, you got the lead at the half. You held the lead at the half. And this team, 47-1, now 48-1 over the last six mm -hmm. years. When you lead at the half, you jump on them, you stand on it, you win this game. Good Pretty job. cool. Goosebump moment to be sure. And you can paint it green and white. All right, off to the bowl now. Done. We'll see. I got basketball next week, too. Yep. It's Ohio against Marshall on Tuesday night. That'll be inside the Convocation Center. All grins at Husky Stadium. Ohio wins 26 to 21 to bring that green curtain down to the regular season. Win over NIU and DeKalb. Wow. That will do it for the entire Bobcat TV crew. For Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. It's cold here. So cold. This is Bobcat TV.